Welcome to the Idle Red Hands. I'm Jeremy. I'm Lyle. And today we're doing an unboxing of a Kickstarter that just arrived. So it's the it's Larry Harris, the designer of Axis and Allies. This is his kind of complete version of that game. So if you don't know anything about Axis and Allies or you've only heard of it, uh, it was originally published in 1981. I guess Milton Bradley republished it after he originally worked with Nova Games. Yeah, uh, 84? Yes, right. It was re yeah, republished in, in 84, and then it was acquired, uh, Hasbro acquired it. Axe and Allies is part of like the Game Master series. Oh, right. mm -hmm. So there was like five five games. Mm -hmm. Larry Harris designed three of them. Okay. And then there was the other two. One was originally called Shogun mm -hmm. and Fortress America. Oh. And I guess Milton Bradley, they were all designed by other companies. And right. then Milton Bradley was still separate from Hasbro. Yes. It, it bought these different games and Larry Harris I guess maybe part of the deal or whatever but he started working at Milton Bradley in 84 oh, okay and then three of his games became part of this like game master series of five games later on Hasbro bought Milton Bradley and right. they also had they also had purchased Avalon Hill right. right and then they put Milton Bradley as part of Avalon Hill or no they took access and allies and made it part of Avalon, Avalon Hill. Hill that's right yeah and now Avalon Hill is a sub Literary of Wizards of the Coast after they purchased them. Right, yeah. right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, because people were talking about the, the revival of it. So it's, it's been recently kind of revised and simplified. So there's... So there's Axis and Allies Classic. Yes, right. Uh, colon Classic. <laughs> yeah. right. And that's what Larry Harris developed. Because there's, there's also Axis and Allies World War I, mm -hmm. 19... 40 or 1939 yeah. or Pacific and yeah, all these different versions, versions. Yeah. And, yeah but yeah there's and I don't know his role in those but maybe nothing. I don't think so yeah because yeah. I think they took because I, the complaint of the original game is it can be a 10 hour stalemate you know that the more players you have you yeah know, it's, it can be a, a, a very long term game and they wanted to simplify it and make it more you know general audiences more more marketable to more mainstream. Yeah. I, I had the the original mm -hmm. I guess we'll call it exercise classic, but that actually the Game Master series. Maybe they also wanted to make the box smaller. Yeah, right. But it looks like Larry Harris likes his likes his big boxes. Yeah, they're not Which is around. insane in front of you know I've got three of the three of them. Two of them are actually the Game Master series, so finding space for that. Yes. Uh, but I yeah, so it's accident started in nineteen forty one. America's in in the war, right? No, no, America. No, for, yeah, no, America's not not in. Well, they're tech, they're there, <laughs> right? Right. Yeah, but then we bought this expansion before. I guess they became a part of Hasbro, mm -hmm. where you can start it right at the beginning and gives you all these different units and stuff. And man, that, that if you want to have a long drawn out game, <laughs> yes. this like starts in like 1939, and right, there's right. all these rules who could attack and. Yeah. Now. Yeah, I've seen online people have built entire game rooms just based around this game and have expanded the board to, you know, fit a, a huge yeah. uh, table and like have all the memorabilia and photographs everywhere to make it a room for this game only. So I wonder if in this game when we open it is Russia can just spy infantry and then <laughs> stop stop Germany from advancing. Right. Yeah, that's, that was a classic. He's like, well, you can play Russia, but you, there was like that one strategy. Yes. It's yes. just my infantry and tie Germany up, and then Germany will just grind them down. You know? Yeah. And then the Axis and Allies, the, the Hasbro version, the most recent iteration is Axis and Allies Zombies. So they've added a zombie apocalypse. I saw that, and then I was actually quite tempted to get it. And yeah. then I saw the reviews, and mm, they were mixed. Yeah. They were yeah, mixed. Yeah. I think uh, Mike Merrill? Mm -hmm. From D and D, yeah, I think was involved. he's involved. Oh. He was involved in developing yeah, yeah. the Axis and Allies Zombies. I, oh, that's is it funny. Axis and Allies and Zombies? Oh, yes, it is. You're right. Like Pride yes, and Prejudice yeah, right. and Zombies. Right. Yeah. yeah, right, right. Yeah, that's what it is. But, so this is War Room. Yeah, this is War Room that we're going to unbox. So this is the same designer, yeah, as the original Axis and Allies, and this is like you know kind of his ultimate version of this. This is everything that it can yeah. be. So I think the biggest difference that I noticed from the Kickstarter is there's not going to be anything, there's not going to be little planes and little soldiers. Everything is going to be re represented with tokens. Okay. And and instead of having to stack them on poker chips to show the you know, troop strength, yeah. um, they're, they're going to have their own system of, of kind of inter-stacking uh, tokens. Oh, nice. That works. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, from what from what I've seen, it's a, it's a good looking box. So let's take a look at everything that's inside. All right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot. All right. 
So China has started doing this on all boxes. I guess they were getting a lot of complaints of corner crush. So now all corners have yeah. this reinforcement. So you don't get any busted corners anymore, which doesn't then transfer into the what did you see? Your box. Did you ever see that video with a guy loading the plane? No, no. In, in China, and he's like uh, chucking the boxes, yeah. and the, like one of the passengers is like, "Oh, it's like it wasn't the luggage." Uh, so I mean, right. the passengers probably would have rioted, but they were. And he, he was actually taking longer chucking the stuff because they would fall off the, the conveyor right, belt. Right, right. Yeah, nice. But just just the spike. I mean, oh know. yeah. So I'm not sure which way it's going to be oriented when we open it, so I might have to flip everything around anyhow. Well, it looks like this side up. Yes, yeah, I think we're good. Just not sure. It's interesting all the, the information that's on the side here. It's like the actual name of the game. Oh, uh, yeah. And the game company is Nightingale Games. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, yeah so. I, I don't know anything about them. Yeah, I think yeah. this might be the first. I'm not sure what else they've done, but this is definitely their biggest Kickstarter. And yeah. um, what they did with the Kickstarter is not really expand the game into any insane... Holy mackerel, that's thick yeah, it's, cardboard. Yeah, it's really... I think because the, the game itself is so heavy, they said like maybe 17, 18 pounds. Oh, yeah? So, um... All right. Is that just there we go. Oh, yeah. yeah. And wow. it was an interesting reason why this was a little bit delayed? Yes. Yeah, that uh, because they, they produced it in China, uh, when they originally in had included, um, I should think we turn it both oriented? Oh no, this is specific. okay, perfect. Yeah. Okay. So both in the game and in the tokens and things yeah. inside, they included uh, a Taiwan flag. Yeah. Okay. And there is no such thing as Taiwan in China. It's China, <laughs> so you can't. They don't even historically want you to represent anything, you know, before current China. Right. So um, what they had to do is reprint thing, redesign the, the cover. I'd reprint things inside to only reflect China, but then they also, I think maybe domestically, included stickers right. that the, then could replace the historically accurate yeah. Taiwanese flag. Okay. Well, it's nicely packed, edged around there. Yeah, yeah it's Whoa, really... that looks pretty heavy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> now, I'll hold the box. All right. This up. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, it, yeah, it's, it's an odd shape. It's really long, but I think they needed that to, for all the components to actually fit. Right. And let's take a look. So and this on the Kickstarter was $100 or? I think 150 Right. Once, once okay. they got yeah everything. And there is a signature edition. I think there's a, um, a, a more deluxe box and maybe some uh, slightly upgraded components and also a signature by mm -hmm. Larry Harris for the right. signature, uh, signature edition. And yeah. uh, uh, so that's a little bit more expensive. I think that was 200 And right. this, this was 150 But what they did to make it worthwhile supporting on the Kickstarter is to give you a discounted shipping. So this got to Japan for about $20. Wow. So yeah, it's, I mean, for this weight, that's that's a pretty big discount. So they they definitely uh, must have eaten a lot of that. And actually, very minimal design, so there's nothing on the back. So I think this is not gonna, it doesn't look like it's it's marked for retail. So there's no barcodes. And there's, there's nothing no on the back, yeah. yeah. So it's very plain. So there, I think at this point, Nightingale is just selling this on their site. So that'll probably be the only place. And it is available. You can get both the regular edition. I think mm -hmm. the signature edition may be sold out on their website. Okay. But they do have the also the expansion. And that's something we're not going to see here. But they give you an expansion that gives you uh, dice shakers. Okay. And then the, uh, the I'm not sure what the technical term is, but the sticks themselves to actually move tokens on the Oh, like the those little, like the war games. Yes. Yeah, so anytime you see maps and yeah. war rooms. Those little kind of yeah, uh, hey. all right, it's casino style. So yeah, so nice, yeah, really heavy, nice box and not glossy, kind of a matte or a satiny finish. Yep. And so this is um, the first kind of big change from Axis and Allies. Instead of having the kind of world map, the school map that you've you've seen, kind of putting uh, uh, orienting things uh, kind of horizontally, it's an over, it's a North Pole view down. Of the world, so the map itself is going to be circular, yeah, instead of the uh, the rectangle uh, like the uh, the world maps in school. So <laughs> it says one hour per player, right? So two to six hours. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So very well, very heavy. Hey, nice. Yeah. So it's a, it's like a puzzle. yeah. It looks like a jigsaw. So the. Um, so the uh, the other thing that comes in that kind of upgrade set is a big polyurethane map, so a right. slightly upsized kind of mouse pad material map. 
And the one thing that I didn't like about that is it's not cut circular, it's actually cut square. Mm -hmm. So I guess you could build a custom table for it and it would fit nicely, mm -hmm. but you kind of want a, that circular map to be cut out. So you could right. cut it out yourself, but it's not going to be done. It's not going to be done by them. So that didn't tempt me. Wow. So we'll, we'll put this together, I think, later yeah. so yeah. we can see how everything looks. So it looks like oh. there's... Yeah, there's a lot. Oh, wow. Yeah, I think, I think it would be good to yeah, put that thing together. Yeah, yeah, we'll put that in the middle. And, and so here's yeah, the folders uh, for your books. Nice. Right. Yeah. Looks a little bit bigger than Axanaz, if I remember correctly. Nice. Mm. So here's each of the forces. Yeah, cut a card. Oh, is that, is that Italy? Yeah, yeah. Where? Yeah, he wants flags. And then some blank, generic ones, but for holding anything extra. Yeah, so these are these are nicely. Printed and they also get the component. It's a, a bit floppy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know. I think this this uh, sits yeah. in another box. I think. Okay. Yeah. So this All is right. just like an insert to yeah. hold cards in the storage boxes. Right. So I think that, yeah they did a pretty interesting uh, interesting storage style. So there's ah oh big reference. There's maybe two yeah. or yeah a reference in the phase. Four, and All right, so I, I guess you pass those around. Yeah. So they're quite substantial. Well, they're yeah, big. Saying, yeah, really big. Uh, and then I wonder why. So, yeah, I guess. But if the map's in front of you. Yeah. I, I don't. Well, we'll or maybe yeah, maybe if you're yeah, kind of trying to look and see what's adjacent or what your route of attack um, would be, it might be a useful thing. Oh, that's oh, the center. Middle. Yeah, yeah that goes center. in the middle. So you got turn order. Desertions. Wow. Economic collapse. Nice. Supply lines disrupted. Wow. All the pleasant stuff in the middle. Yeah. Nice. And okay, a book and a session. Oh, and wow, there's even more. Yes, it just keeps coming. Ah, yeah. So here, whoa, sounds like so we've got infantry box and armor and artillery. So you were saying that if we. Okay, so these are tokens. Yes. Plastic tokens. Right. Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so everything's. Oh, that's nice. Okay, I see what you mean with, with the stacking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so troop strength or unit strength is then represented by these stacking tokens, which interlock. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really nicely. So instead of having to stack a, a you know, a plastic miniature on yeah. top of uh, poker chips like they used to, mm -hmm. um, they just have a lot of infantry, and you can stack. So the height is going to show you. Be able right. to at a glance, kind of see the strength of. Uh, but they are then. How do you differentiate? So these are these are the green here are fighters, right? Right. And the red are bombers. It's it's clear. That you can look at them, but just when you think about Axis and Allies Classic, and probably the other Axis and Allies games, is that they were different colored plastics, so the Germans were gray. And, oh, right, so do they have... And the... Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so you could see that. So these are the storage boxes, and they actually... Oh, sorry, I guess we're going... Yeah, let's get the miniatures open. Oh, yeah, sorry. Okay. Yeah. The, the, the tokens. Nice, you got battleships, carriers, submarines. Nice. Yeah, again, so... I mean... They're color coded so you can differentiate them, but like they're not color coded by right. uh, your nation. Right. right. So I guess either is there like something that you would? Oh, I guess we'll there find out. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, wow, here's the morale board. Gosh, and so for each, yeah. I mean, these wow. are these are thick. Yeah, this, yeah, yeah. Really substantial. This is like like actual board like board game board. Yeah, right. Thickness. Yeah, and I think they probably wanted to match the thickness of the map so everything's kind of at the same level. So So this is this would be the battle map? Or sorry, the you know, in Axis and Allies Classic mm -hmm. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna call it Axis and Allies. <laughs> in Axis and Allies you have like when you, you you take it off the board and then you put it on the little Ah, right, right. Like, the battlefield we call it. But it looks like that's what this is. Yeah, that right? may yeah, it looks like it maybe yeah, because defensive, offensive. Yeah. Yeah. Does look like that. I've got two sides, but I, you know, like I mean, he did Axis and Allies. You can't really copyright rules, mm -hmm. and you can't copyright World War Two. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> so that's true. like, yeah, we'll do another version of Axis and Allies. Okay, we got stickers. There we go. Yeah, and nice. 
Oh, lots of stickers. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes. Now I'm looking at the shapes here, and these uh, are yes, yes, yes. the same shape as. Right. As the, like these are the same shape as the naval units. Mm -hmm. These look the same shape as the uh, yeah, infantry. Infantry right, and right. the circular and, are and the, the Air Force. Right, okay. Right, right. Right. Yes. Yeah, so that's all right. But would you then cover it up? Or? I guess maybe you cover one of each. Yeah, one. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, because they give you. Yeah, they give you quite a few. Of I'm wondering each. if the. Because it does look like there's a little, like, a little pet peeve in some board games. Mm -hmm. Remember when we were looking at um, Nemesis? Oh yeah. Oh, sorry. You, you weren't. Uh, you weren't there yet. You went home early, but oh, right, Chris right, and I right, were trying to make point. heads or tails of the setup, and we thought right. that could have been done better. <laughs> or no, we were playing. What was that game where we didn't know all the components? It was, we liked the game, mm -hmm. but the, maybe it was a uh, village attacks. Uh huh. Right, right. And it wasn't clear what all the components were. We figured it oh, out right, eventually, right. but yeah. it would have been nice. If something goes. This is this. this yeah, is this. that's because right, so we're. So here it does. It. Yeah, the game components. Mm -hmm. I wonder if it tells you what you can do with the stickers, like. Part of setting up. Oh yeah, there's, there's. Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yes. Yeah, so and I guess another field. Yeah. yeah. Or like well, the, uh, we've got the game oh, component. Right. It is called the battle status boards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know something? It would have been nice if they had numbered. See, yes. Yeah, like yeah. Alexis sort of, because we. Yeah. So these are battle status boards, and there's a morale board. Yeah. This was the morale board. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Well, uh, the morale board is clearly labeled. Oh, no, that's not. I wouldn't say this is clearly. Mm. Oh, but it's double sided. Didn't notice that. Oh, yeah. No. So two of those. Yeah. So that's good. So I guess if you're playing with four, you can, you know. Yeah. Oh. Out, may not be sure. Yeah. So yeah, all of these slide boxes are the storage. So they they have the peg. They have the for pegs to show your resources. So you've got oh, oil, okay. iron, and yeah. An OSR. Okay. Um, so it shows, and for each faction or each nationality, they've got the um, the different starting yeah. points. So, yeah. Yeah, and then this will, this will be yeah storage. I, I, I like that. Uh, people, I I because I, I have the old or uh, I'll say the original Milton Bradley mm -hmm. Axis and Allies. I don't know how, the storage there, but in. Uh, in that version, there's like the styrofoam trays. Ah, yes. So it's, <laughs> if it ever gets jostled, everything is like all over the place. So I like right. that they, like there's a cover there. Yeah. So that's, I mean, that can last uh, actually carrying it. Because you would have to carry out the snarlize yeah, like this. Like a dinner like, tray, yeah, right. Yeah, like right. a dinner tray. <laughs> you couldn't actually put it in something, but it was so big you couldn't put it in anything anyway. Nice. Yeah, so each box, and on the back they show actual units and identification which are reproduced then in the sticker sheets. Are these just extra tokens because they're shaped like oh wait a minute. Oh so those are probably where you put the stickers. These yeah. are the these yeah. are the same colors. Oh right. It's as like, the uh, country. Oh, yeah and which match the boxes. Yeah, yeah right. So, so there here's, you go. here's Russia. Oh but it looks like uh, there's li like limits. Like, so Russia like I don't know who this is. Uh is the Chinese forces or um is the UK all the time? Well, oh, no, the UK would have a lot of naval units. Oh, okay. but, it, but I'm just thinking, if you look at this brown, just like um, nice, this would be Russia, I'm going to guess. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And they have a lot of infantry units, but very few naval units. Ah, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so Germany's yeah, they must got be... a mix. Yeah. Nice. This, this has a, a lot of naval units, and it looks like a lot of. Yeah, this is definitely the UK. Yeah, only right. a few infantry units, but a lot of air force and navy. Okay, right. that's yes, yeah, so, nice. so they give you that reference on the back of each kind of faction, so you can see, yeah, what yeah. they're actually going to have. So those are, yeah, those are the stickers that we're then going to be having to put on all of those <laughs> <All right. laughs> to reproduce. Oh, so nice. it's one to six players. So right. Got Germany. China, mm -hmm. Japan, yeah, Britain, Russia. But this is we've got seven. Yes. But only six people can play, or, or yeah, so this, I guess. Um, I don't know. Like, don't know, yeah. oh, maybe it's like <laughs> we're printing it in China. So yeah, you're you're there. Yeah, you Any, does it, so <laughs> look Anybody at, wants to play that? It's all look at, look there. at all that. Yeah. Yeah. You know that would be funny if they had to do that. A fair 
fair enough, but I think the in China, if I remember correctly, mm-hmm. I, I think U.S. forces would land there, so the um, the air forces, mm-hmm. the planes. So it would have been nice to just like, okay, you could have some American. Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man, that would suck. I thought like, oh man, being. Italy would blow, but no. <laughs> that is so worse. Yeah. Can I play? Yeah, <laughs> you are. Your kid Ouch. brother should be in shoot. And it just shows you. Yep, yeah, so it's the limits, and mm. that makes a lot of sense. Nice. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of funny, like, you have all these uh, naval forces for Germany, but they're pretty much contained mm. after a little bit. Well, I guess, no, you have the submarine forces, the wolf packs. Ah, yeah. Yeah. That, would, that would make sense. Oh, look at the infantry on Japan. Whoa. <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. Oh, you know, I guess, I guess yeah, because you're counting the... Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't think the Japanese forces were... The infantry forces were bigger than the, the Germans, but uh, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, yeah, maybe you need that much to actually cover the uh, Pacific. And then they also have the um, themed pads to keep nice. track of everything. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I, yeah. I hope yeah. that they have PDFs or whatever. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. Demos. That's yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. People would be pleased with that. Yeah. Well, well made. Yeah, the quality yeah. and stuff, and it's nice. Yeah, everything is matching and some design. Hey. Oh, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Neutral. So you get a lot. Okay, so now I can see why the um, they have those big rules and there's only oh. like the, the two mm-hmm. because yeah you have information here ah yeah, nice yeah it. all right limits and stuff so that's good nice nice, nice. yeah Bam. wow yeah so colored notepads that's really great oh yeah yeah Good job. all right oh and this was interesting too they have so it's the color based dice uh so you're rolling you're rolling dice that are color based but they put um for colorblind players, they put uh, little tactile bumps so you can actually tell oh, nice. red from green and yeah, well, everything. That's, yeah. that's courteous of them. Yes. And so for blind players too. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah right. Yeah. So any any visually impaired people can actually play without just touching those dice. Yeah. So these squares are <laughs> their uh, <laughs> tanks or infantry? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, you yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, there's more. Okay. Oh, black. I got black here. Is that actually anybody or are they uh, extras? Maybe, yeah, maybe extra. I don't think, yeah, I don't think anybody's black. black. Yeah, as far as the color. Yeah, so we have black and then the pre. Oh, these are actually card. There's actually punched, it looks like card tokens. Well, these are Bombs. these are tokens too. I think these are the. Uh... How much? Hmm, this list of game components doesn't seem very comprehensive. <laughs> unless unless these Oh they're double sided. I think these are No? Because these are almost double sided. I was gonna say territory cards, but no, I think those are those. Yeah, these are the cards. Yeah. Yeah, this, this could be oh, okay, land units. Okay, on the other page there's more game components. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. The national flag. Okay. They're just called the national flags. Okay. So to mark yeah. occupied territories. And then I've got these are so these are cardboard. These are very thick card stuff, but they're pre punched. They're not in a uh, they're not in sheets you have to punch out. They're already yeah, these are really, really thick. Yeah. Yeah, so factories and bombing tokens and then yeah, the flags themselves. The black box. What is in there? All right. Okay. These are oh, wow. yeah. hotspot tokens. Yeah, nice. I think these are the hotspot. Oh, these are the different. Tokens. These are the bomb, bomb tokens or something. Oh, I think the, yeah, these were the different ones. Oh, I guess yeah. yeah. Okay. Wow. Front and back. All right. Oh, let's see what I see. Yeah, these look like the hotspot tokens. Yeah, and so these are wood with with uh, yeah stickers on them. Yeah, so wooden. And these are stars. Yes. To put on your uniform. I, uh, I don't know. I don't see see stars here. 
Oh, here. Capital stars. Oh, for your highlight, your capital territories. Ah, okay. Nice. So, yeah, I guess you can move your capital. Is, it, is that why you would do that? Maybe. Yeah, yeah. or maybe change. Yeah, maybe, maybe yeah change I guess change if Germany places. actually. Maybe yeah, Paris. Yeah, take, <laughs> yeah, or takes Paris or takes Moscow. Right, it's like right. it, looking at the map, we'll, we'll, we'll set it up, but because Norway is the color of Germany, ah. as is Finland, so. I'm getting it. so Germany's already taken over Norway, so it's, France would be probably great too. Mm -hmm. So that's already done. Uh -huh. yeah. And there's the yeah, there's the pegs for the the boards themselves. So yeah, to track resources, yeah. there's the different pegs, and so they color coded them. And a couple like. extra. That's good. Maybe you can put like the territories or something. Or oh, here's the bomb tokens. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So maybe you put bomb yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, that's nice. That is a pretty substantial. Pretty sturdy box. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you can definitely see how this game is going to fit back in once yeah. you take everything out, and that's that's nice. So, yeah, definitely. And I think that would have been a lot more difficult had they done miniatures and you know, had it not all been tokens. Yeah. You can kind of slide everything into fit in much smaller spaces. And these are the arrow tags. As all right. As, and, oh, oh, as well as carrier force tokens. Oh, okay. Yeah. And these are yeah, civilian and we got stress, oh, metals and civilian goods. goods yeah. All right. Bomb and industry tokens. Oh, it's kind of funny that you know, the industry is <laughs> the flip side of the bomb. <laughs> right. you know? We've bombed your industry. Nice. Yeah, so these are again the thick card stock and that is everything. Yeah, so we're going to have to figure out how all these guys go into the uh, into that big tray. All right. Oh, and the last thing that we did in territory cards, yeah. right? Yes. So let's. What, what cards? So they have territory cards, and oh, then they have the card holders, which is the thing we saw. Oh right, before. right. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So that's where so, yeah, these will slide in. Then I guess if you're Italy, <laughs> you're not gonna have any territory because <laughs> you're not gonna take anything. But yeah, if you take, you just fill up with all the territory that you currently. Yeah, own. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Just, that's yeah, nice. Everything. Gets slotted in there, yeah, so everything is oh, listed there. Oh, it's information on what they can produce and stuff. Right. Yeah. Oh, nice. Hmm. Yeah, wow, and a lot of, uh, yeah, a lot of photography. They did a nice job kind of doing period appropriate kind of specific photography for different areas. Probably a lot of that's free, too. That's yeah, I would, smart. I would imagine, yeah. yeah. save some money on art. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and it, it was really, yeah, it's nice and thematic and... Yeah, good. there was a, a card game. Called, I think it's still around, but Barbarossa, mm -hmm. and the, the original version was anime or oh, really? anime yeah. girls <laughs> in like Nazi and uh, really? Russian uniforms uh -huh. and big big breasts and that. But then you could actually get like a, a limited edition version that act that has real World War II pictures. Oh, nice! Yeah, so I picked up that. It's all in Japanese, though, so you can you can get the translations online. Hmm, nice. But what a difference! I mean, with with the actual photographs. Of yeah, yeah. Like girls with their chest busted. <laughs> right. Yeah. There's a weird mixture of that here. The uh, the kind of cute girls and tanks and aircraft carriers yeah. and things. Yeah. They like to mix it up. Yeah. This is great. Yeah. So the cards are, are decent. They've got like a a, a matte finish to them. Mm -hmm. They're not glossy. Right. Yeah, kind of a satin, a little bit more. Yeah, satiny, but yeah, decent quality. Mm -hmm. So they should hold up. Wow. Well, should we put this map together and yeah. see how that Let's goes? We'll see. Here's the center, and we've got four pieces. Four pieces. I, you know, okay. This is actually uh, in for Japan, kind of a big table, but maybe. Oh yeah. This width is. This is. I'd say this is wider. This table is wider than your average. Dining yeah, table it's, a little bit. Yes, yeah, so this is being, shorter. Yeah, one one twenty one twenty by one eighty centimeters. If that is any reference, so there's Greenland. Oh yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna fit on here. Yeah, but we're gonna probably. Oh no, I guess the morale. Yeah, morale and combat will fit too. Wow. Yeah, so this is, so one eighty by one twenty is the table we're on. Yeah, so I can roughly see roughly six, six four by six. Yeah, yeah roughly. Wow. So there we go. Yeah. The mouse pad material one is even bigger than this. That's crazy. So that's obviously why they made the sticks, because there's no way you're reaching, you know, comfortably across a table. 
this width. Well, so yeah, so and it's a little off center. That's interesting. Yeah, so that you know, the the main action is uh, yeah Eurasia. So they're uh, well, yeah, uh, I guess because not much is going to go on in South America, or I guess yeah. So you would have Australia, right? So I guess if you're a real fan of Tasmania, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> right. no, I don't. I don't have and, that, but I guess, yeah. Antarctica is out of <laughs> is yeah. out of play. <laughs> yeah, I want to play that. Yeah, you got Russia, Japan. A, a squished Africa. That's Africa. Yeah, okay, right. yeah. The squished kind. Yeah, it is quite quite squished. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's a yeah. You can't visually recognize the shapes of things as well, but I think they you know, yeah they orient. To yeah, well, people are not used to this. I'm gonna say bird's eye, but and obviously. No, it, it's all meant perspective, man. <laughs> no, it's not necessarily tough. <laughs> so if you are a flat earther, I think this would pretty much correspond. Well, actually, no, because you, you would have to be surrounded by Antarctica for this to be a, a true flat earth map. Yeah. <laughs> this is an Gosh, awesome. Yeah, center. this is... Yeah, but the, the design, yeah, the graphic yeah. design is nice. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It's, very, it's very pretty. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You certainly would feel isolated if you were in North, <laughs> North America. Yes, that's or, that's but I mean, hey, you're spread out as uh, UK, I guess. Mm -hmm. yeah, you do you got your ah UK? No, it's always that's the problem of you know what is it? Sun never sets on the British Empire. <laughs> sure, but you're gonna be moving around a lot. Yeah, you would need to. It'd be tough to sit down and play this. You'd be walking around. Yeah, I think you're already standing. Yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think you will because yeah, just just for us to lay the stand. Yeah, except for the Russian players, I mean, they just build their... <laughs> Just be concentrating on their infantry. Yeah. It's it is very good. It'd be interesting to see how easy it is mm -hmm. to. Uh, you're gonna have to be able to read upside down yeah. for people because if you're looking here, it's not it's not like it's crushingly difficult to read economic collapse, supply lines uh, disrupted. But yeah, you definitely if you have any vanity, it will. Eyewear on that. You gotta drop that because mm -hmm. yeah, you, know, you really need to see it a little bit of a distance here. Yeah. And I wonder if the because of the bigger scale of the game, if you are actually mm -hmm. like you'll have a chair in each corner of the table, but when you're kind of actively doing things, you'll kind of get up and move around. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you have to have yeah. forces on, on opposite sides, and so and maybe you know not everyone will be standing at all the time, so you're not elbowing each other. Well, you can, yeah, no, it's, it's a really good point. Like if your table is against the wall, yeah, yeah that's or true. if yeah. yeah, I mean, ideally you have a I would have a round table because you've got, you've got to be able to walk around this. Yeah, 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 that's but true. Yeah, maybe that you know you're doing it and you're like, well, you see when you see people playing like. Warhammer 40k or like the miniatures game, everybody's standing, no one's mm -hmm. sitting. Right. Yeah. So yeah everyone's trying. like that. Yeah, and I think, yeah, getting but take no six to hours. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious uh, how it plays and how, uh, yeah, if, if we get bogged down. Yeah, and also be tough to play it on the floor because if people like like sitting down and you're like walking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's true. Really crawling around so <laughs> yeah maybe we should build a, a turntable for it just so we can put it on the table but Ooh, like yes, the, you know like in a chinese restaurant yeah right yeah, yeah exactly I'm yeah sure. i'm sure we can <laughs> find one of those yeah. yeah and then we can have our dim sum later after <laughs> <laughs> yeah give it a little i'd take that out because that's where the, the food's gonna go yeah nice wow yeah it's a nice board, they, and they still have photographic details around the edge so they mm -hmm. keep adding yeah they yeah keep using their photographs and then a lot of um, little charts of conversion and things, so the exchange uh, table is here, mm -hmm. and they have some little details to yep, uh, ports or, or naval bases, I guess, that are way to do that. Mm. And what you would have available. Yeah, so China, well, I want to, Japan is already, has Manchuria, mm. but that, that happened before World War II started. Right. So, yeah, so I guess, wow, China. that sucks to China. Why even put it in there? Like, <laughs> Maybe they felt obligated. Cause well, I guess so. Yeah, I guess yeah. so. They they did they did fight. Right, right. So I guess it's rude really not to. Uh, yeah, so I'm curious to see. I think this this looks like it'll be enough table, but it's going to be a full table. You know, with, once we have all of our, our, you know, our boards for morale and for conflict and then the, the little boxes to keep track of all of our resources, we're going to be... It's going to be a pretty full table. Like we would, I don't know, 
it'd be tough to like maneuver around the table though. Yeah. That, that's the thing. And even if we played it in the other area, mm -hmm. we'd, have, we'd have to probably pack up some tables just so people can yeah. walk around. That's, oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. We pull it. yeah, so we just had, yeah, kind of the two long tables separated. So we have this size playing and yeah. then, yeah, move the others out of the way and right. put the pizza there. <laughs> right. But, I mean, it, it's different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I think, and, it, and you do, when you're looking at this, like, I can see you don't feel like you're playing a board game so much as, yeah, you are doing like, yeah, you're in the war room planning, yeah, right. planning strategies and that. Yeah. yeah, it definitely gives you a different feel and, and the scale yeah, yeah. feels yeah, so much bigger than a, than a board game. Yeah, and once we've got everything laid out, it is going to be a, a giant table. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. All right. Excellent. Well, we have unboxed War Room, right. the Larry Harris game. So this is published by Nightingale. Um, they, they, uh, work, he worked with Nightingale Games to uh, to make this possible on Kickstarter. And you can go to the Nightingale Games uh, website where they have their store. So this is available. Uh, I'm not sure the signature edition. I believe that sold out. This and the expansion with the sticks and shakers and everything. Do you remember how much it retails for? This I think is two fifty on their site. Two hundred fifty. Yeah. Wow, that's, that's yeah. quite a good Kickstarter. So. Yeah, yeah, the Kickstarter they really yeah they really gave you. You know, help, helping support the production of this, they really gave you uh, some benefit. So yeah, no, I mean that that's good that they do that because yeah, when you do a Kickstarter, you really want to feel like it was worth. I mean, yeah, sure, it was worth it if you just to see the help the game mm -hmm. come into being. But getting some sort of extra, or in this case, getting like a pretty substantial discount. Yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah, getting this great, yeah, yeah. To, to Japan. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if I would have waited and I'll, I'll just see you know when it comes out because yeah. they, they, they were delayed because it was the 2017 uh, Kickstarter and yeah. it did I did just get it so they yeah they were uh, two years out so they because of the printing problems they were a little bit late later than they expected wait uh, so 2017 is when you pledged yes yeah when they were running the Kickstarter yeah but when did they say they were gonna have it available yeah so yeah the, the original schedule for this was a year so yeah. it, it funded on December 9th yeah. 2017 and they expected December 2018 to mm -hmm. be fulfilling yeah and of course when you're dealing with China and you hit that that um, end of the year they've got kind of two interfering holidays that mm -hmm. the end of the year that you know kind of New Year's that everyone is celebrating right is, is there and then they're, they're and, new year, then Chinese they're, new year, yeah, yeah. Lunar, the lunar new year, yeah, the lunar year. yeah it's going to give you another difficulty so you've either got to squeeze it in before that holiday season or you're waiting yeah yeah to, into the beginning of the year yeah so that's a yeah it was a great uh, the, that discount shi shipping was a nice thing for them to do and they kind of broke it up into uh, oh, they, oh sorry no they had the uh, the the jumbo bundle, which was the like I was saying, the, the dice shakers and all the kind of extras that they included yeah. with the, the bigger map. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So I'm really happy with how everything looks. The quality, yeah. the components is nice, yeah. and it's going to go back into the box. That's a very encouraging thing. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going to be like a bunch of little pieces. Yeah, yeah. yeah everything's, so everything's like got sealed and that. Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. No, it does look really good. I know it came in a. Sometimes Kickstarter's come at a bad time for me, and I'm just like, ah, I don't want to buy more stuff. Right, right. And this was one of the ones where I hemmed and hawed, and, and in the end decided not to get it. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. But we still have a copy. Yeah. So. <laughs> I don't think we need two copies of this. Uh. Yeah, I, I don't think I have a place to play it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, it looks really good, and yeah, I hope it plays as well as yeah. it looks, and... It's interesting that he's putting in, or, or nice that he's able to include everything that he wanted to include. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, it's not too difficult. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't add too much complication. Right. Yeah, and still kind of really slow things down. Yeah. So, so we'll have to off camera. We'll have to try a game, and then we'll, if once we kind of know how things run, we should definitely uh, uh, record a session of this and see how it goes. Right. Probably a live stream. I don't think <laughs> I don't think we'll get enough video storage for a a whole game on camera. Right. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's like three to four, five, six hours. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to find a, a good weekend, yeah. Wow, Italy kind of sucks there. Well, <laughs> in the game, <laughs> but they only yeah, have three territories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah the Balkans. And yeah. So they've already been beaten back by Ethiopia, so the Germans have come in and yeah, uh, right, 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 yeah. kick the British out of North Africa. Wow. All right. Excellent.
So yeah, you're, it sounds like you're happy with the purchase. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks. Really I fun. would be if I yeah, because mm -hmm. that, that this looks like a lot of game. Right, and, and it's it's kind of like a, a classic because they went with kind of this kind of more matte satin finish. It doesn't have gloss and it, it yeah. more like a classic game. Like it really feels like a classic edition. Oh, of, yeah. definitely. But n now that you mentioned it, I think definitely the matte was a good way to go because mm -hmm. you really don't want glare because it's already going to be hard enough to see stuff. That's, yeah, and that's if you have like true. the glare from the lights or something like right. that, it's going to be like. Which territory is that? Yeah, yeah, and so you can see, yeah, from overhead, we've got yeah. lights. We've got uh, big recording lights hitting this, and it's not, yeah, not glaring. This, uh, yeah. So, but everything's really readable. It just right. doesn't fit all on one shot. <laughs> the world is that big. Yeah, like we're talking about things, and people are like, "Where, where, where is that? Is that? <laughs> like Africa's there." Yeah, there it's it way. is. There. Yeah, you yeah. can see, but that's <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks like yeah. Britain's got a lot in the the south there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yeah, people, yeah, North America's here. There it be. Kind of, yeah. And look at all these islands I gotta take back from Japan. Oh yeah. man. All right. Wow. So be interested to see if there's anybody out there that also purchased War Room as a Kickstarter or after looking at this, this is interested in yeah. checking it out. Um, yeah, and if you got a hold of the signature edition, please let us know uh, what's different about it and what's actually nicer. Because I think they did a little bit more. Some of the storage boxes and things are a little more deluxe, okay, and everything yeah. is lined. It's and, got a signature. Where is and, it? And I wonder signature. what did he sign. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe, oh, maybe the, the box. box. Yeah, yeah, probably the box itself. There's probably like a signature area. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so it looks good, and I, yeah, I can't wait to give this a try. We just need two more people to uh, make it an eight-hour game. <laughs> I think what, what is the minimum? Um, oh, do you have the, you have the lid? Sure, the lid has right, that. Yeah. yeah, the minimum. Oh, two. Yeah, two, two, two to people. Six. Oh, yeah, you Axis and the Allies. Right. Yeah. You need at least. Yes. And you have to be 14. All right. Up. Yeah, because the, you have the uh, Imperial Japanese flag, so you got to be mature to deal with that kind of nonsense. Wow. Suppose. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's oh look at that. It's. Interesting, yeah. There's that's no a swastika. Ah, that's a yeah. That's an interesting choice. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I wonder. I mean, certainly they, they did have the iron, the iron cross style, that, mm -hmm. and then the the Weimar, the the Russian or sorry, the Russian, the German army would have this on their vehicles. Right. Right. But yeah. We'll have to see and, and maybe look through some of the photography that they used as well to see if they That's a good yeah, point, yeah. To get rid of everything. Yeah, that, because that, people are sensitive. I've seen yes. comments on Twitter where people are like, you got to wonder about someone who chooses to play a German army and right. collecting them and <laughs> right, right. what's going through their head. Yeah, like, exactly. well, let's, hey, let's play a World War II game and no one plays Germany. Right, right, right. Well, and the sensitivity, that's why I was joking about the, the Imperial flag, because that, that was the joke, um, you know, that's the sensitivity in Asia, is uh, Korea and China are uncomfortable seeing the... Well, Korea is asking for guarantees from Japan mm -hmm. that the uh, Imperial flag, or is it the naval flag, but that, that that won't be shown anywhere in the Olympics. But, ah. uh, yeah. but maybe some, some retro 80s rocker t-shirts? Well, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I guess, I mean... Yeah, there there is a lot of bad blood between the two yes, yeah. countries, but I'm just wondering, what are they worried about? I mean, there's, there's the black trucks. The only time you really see these flags is like the black trucks flying around, right. uh, flying around, driving around. <laughs> they have and flying they, trucks in Japan. <laughs> yeah, no, just the German oh. German forces. So yeah, so they they had to yeah. There's a lot of consideration that I think you would expect maybe more from Hasbro. You know, to be careful as a as a public traded company but it's nice that they well uh, they, they wouldn't yeah. be able to have it in yeah. germany like right right oh that's right well because of a smaller yeah. company mm. they can't have different versions right 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 so yeah, they, they've got to like, hey we're just going to print the one version and we want well what is it essen the con is going on right now yeah right? i think they're going to do, just is call it essen yeah oh, Essenspiel? Is it essen? Yeah. Essenspiel? oh yeah so that's going on right now so obviously germany germany is a big market for board games mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you, you're not gonna kill that one. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's. Fine. And I and guess yeah. I guess Korea is not. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. But uh, I guess I'd be wondering what would be the option if you didn't have yes, this, yeah. this flag for Japan. What could 
I was surprised the Chinese didn't object to that, but I, yeah, I guess yeah. It's just... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's frustrating too because if something's historically you know appropriate, yeah, not, not in playing that era, then mm. yeah. Oh, the, it's kind of it's a little difficult because the neutrals are almost like the German colors. So I'm going oh, like, oh, oh yeah, Mongolia. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Maybe they. Yeah, they were. Yeah. No, I I don't think you're gonna find. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if that involved. For, yeah, you're not seeing, you're just seeing German forces, you're not seeing like the the, the Waffen SS, so you're wow. not seeing Hitler. Yeah, it makes sense. I yeah, think. oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, but, but again, that's the same on art. Yes. This is totally, it, it, it's great, I think it looks fantastic, mm -hmm. the pictures, but, and this looks great too, but they probably saved it a little bit of money, or a significant amount of money by, uh, not, yeah, no, you know, not hiding really artists because you can get a graphic designer to do this. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, to not have to do a portrait. Pay the pennies. <laughs> those graphic designers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah I, very some smart choices here. Yeah, yeah, and I think too. I, I've been disappointed recently with some um, board game kind of font choices, like type, typography choices, and they did nice. It's very nice and readable, and it still feels kind oh. of era era appropriate. Oh. Famous. Oh. Yamato? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, some, yeah, I guess they're not as sensitive about shit. Well, I guess he's not bad. He's. Or. Yeah. He's in just... comparison. Oh! <laughs> hey, Rommel! Yeah. He's safe. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it looks like the, the photo that they use for the illustration of it for the, the portrait. Nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, like great art. Yeah, still wouldn't play. Couldn't pay me to play it. <laughs> uh, actually, Rommel is on the Italian. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is not going to sell well. Really. <laughs> yeah. is, is there any Italians on? The, oh, maybe no. This guy, the guy next to Rommel. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. <laughs> And he's even like looking at us like, hey, am I, am I supposed to be in this shot? <laughs> so, yeah, you know, this, this, they might use this for uh, games and things. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, sorry. <laughs> Dunk it on Italy. I, I love Italy. <laughs> Alright, so first game is going to be Italy versus China, basically. I think we got oh, we got to run, run the war. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, even, the, even, even if you look at China, it's like, that's all you get. Yeah, yeah. No variety at all. Huh. Well, I, I said they could have put in forces or whatever. Right. Anyway. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, look, fantastic. Some great choices. Uh, yeah, they, these are fun to look at. Oh, oh yeah. these, these cards. You're looking mm -hmm. at the pictures and... Yeah, so thank you for joining us. And uh, if you like this video, please give us a like and uh, uh, subscribe to the channel. Yeah, share yeah. and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, share this if you uh, know anybody that would be interested in this game and would like to see what's involved. Because uh, yeah, we're not hearing a lot about, I'm not seeing a lot about this, mm -hmm. uh, but I think we should, because it looks like a really good game. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, any, yeah, any yeah, fans yeah. of Axis and Allies yeah, this who want to try something a little bit different, because it looks like the game is going to play differently, mm -hmm. uh, differently enough. But uh, yeah, certainly check that out. If you have a spare $200 and $250. <laughs> right. So. Yeah, and I think the shipping for North America would probably be a bit more reasonable, but yeah, yeah, internationally, this might be, if you miss the Kickstarter, it might be a little bit painful. Right. So just come to Osaka and play with us. Yeah, we need players. We need somebody to play Italy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.